Oh no, my battery is about to die on this camera, but... Hello everyone, welcome to Hans Garage. It's been a long time, I've been working full time, working over a 70 plus hour a week. Oh man, it's been very, very tiring, but at the same time, I've been blessed with another review video. And I will open it right now as we speak. Let me get my tool. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys saw my last review video. It's pretty much the same package. And uh, this time I don't know... I really don't know about this product. If I can just open it. They always do a great job of packaging these things. Okay. So this is another OBD2 reader, but this one is more advanced. That's what I've heard from the vendor that asked me to review this video. And wow, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Fantastic. So this one actually cost about $110 on Amazon. And I'm just getting all the stuff out from the bag. As you can see, there's CD for software update, cables and everything. Autel Guide Link, another OBD2 reader. Before I review this video, I would like to quickly go over these two devices that I have. This one was my very first OBD2 scanner from Autel. I've gotten it from Amazon for $15. Very simple to use, whenever you see the engine check light turn on on your dashboard, you plug it in and it'll tell you just the fault codes and you have the option to delete the fault codes and that's about it. Nothing else, very simple, easy to use. As for this top down OBD2 scanner, this was my very first product for me to review and I have the link in the description box down below so check that out. But this can do a lot more than this Autel one. Uh, this can read fault codes, it can actually record live data while you're driving. It'll tell you what the fault codes are and what's wrong with the fault codes. And you can simply know what's wrong with your car just using this device instead of going online and having to research what the fault codes are. Now, as for this one, I've heard so many good things about it and I cannot wait to plug it in right now and show you guys. So let's get inside my car and I will show you where the port is and we'll go from there all right so for my bmw there's a port right here underneath my driver's steering wheel on the left side and you can plug it in just like so there it is okay so for my brother civic it's located underneath the steering wheel on the right side and it's in the corner and hopefully I can get to it. It's a little difficult for me to see and okay. Alright. Alright. EPB OLS can OBD2 dig link. OBD2. So right now I am sitting in my brother's Honda Civic and I know this car has oxygen sensor problem. And let's see what this thing can do. Codes found. One monitors and three monitors. Okay. Alright, okay. Module money 18DAF111. Money 18D, F11D, I'm going to do the first one, let's see what happens. System status, read codes, stored codes. Alright, so P0135, money 18D, I don't know what that is. 
So O2 sensor, heater, circuit bank 1, sensor 1. Alright, so that's good. And our new pending codes. I knew that was there. Okay, same code. Permanent code, I'm assuming same thing. Oh, not supported, okay. Alright, so it's telling me what the codes are. In detail. Erase codes, live data. Live data. Reading, reading. Please wait. Please, 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 please wait. Hey. Okay, it's taking longer than I expected. A little too long. Oh, okay, I'm getting impatient now. So complete list, you, I guess you can see everything. Let me go back and see if I can go to custom and pick out which one I like. Oh, fuel system one, two, calculated low value, engine coolant temperature. That's good to know. Select engine coolant temperature. So for my BMW, I've been having cooling issues and that's good to see while I'm driving and record live data. Engine RPM, vehicle speed sensor, all these good stuff. All these good stuff. So, for me, I don't really know so too much about these. And, like I said, engine coolant temperature is the only thing I want to record live while I'm driving. Maybe engine RPM, but I could see that. So that's there. Freeze frame, iron readiness, O2 monitor test. Let's see. Not supported. Okay, so I guess some cars, they do have these options. And they can utilize these options. And for my brother's car, I guess I can't. Okay, so let's go back. That's for OBD2. Yes, yeah, so I want to exit. And I, th I believe this is electric parking brake or emergency parking brake. I know some cars, they don't have the manual parking brake like this. And they have buttons for parking brake. And I guess you can utilize that using this device. Scan which car? Ooh, you can select different brands. So right now I'm sitting in Honda. Let's see what happens. Note, you can download one vehicle free. Please connect the device to PC via USB cable and run the Diaglink PC. Suit to install the vehicle you need most. If you need to install more vehicle software, please click on purchase. Alright, so I'm definitely not going to download Honda because I work on my BMW the most and I'm going to download that later. Okay, so you have to connect it to your PC in order to do that. Oil reset. If you do your engine oil, I guess you can reset using this device instead of going through your complicated or annoying system with your car. Language, English, Chinese. Ooh, let me see. Ooh, Korea. Ah, ah, hometown China. What you got? Ah. I have to authorize. Do I have to connect it to my PC in order to get these? Maybe. I'm guessing you have to download some of these languages because it's just not stored previously. Okay, EN metric. Okay, metric English. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. I don't like that. Let's turn that off. Key test. I guess if your key's not working, you can tell using these. Alright, let's go back. Double ES, double escape. Okay, oh. LCD test. This is LCD. Ooh, we got the Bloods and the Crips, and crop is, Crips are just taking over. Oh, oh, and they're taken by green gang, 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 gang. Um, what am I saying? About. Yeah. 
Okay, so pretty simple to use actually. It wasn't so hard. Playback. I guess if you were to record live data, you can play. Should I do that right now? Let's do that right now and see what it can do. Let me turn on my engine and I'm going to record live. Let's do that. This is your, your waiting music when you're waiting for something. <laughs> okay, custom list. I want to record temperature, coolant temperature. Where is it? Did I go? Did I pass it? Yep. Select. Go back. Is it selected? No, it's not. How can I record it? Select. And then what? Clear all. No, I want to select it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wait, let me go back. I want to select and then cool and temperature. Select and OK. Wow, look at that! Engine coolant temperature 124 Fahrenheit. One graphic. Wow, you can even see the graphic. Look at this live data right now. You see that? Um, how do I read this? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> All right, let's wait a little bit to see if the temperature right. Oh, 127. Oh, I see. I see you. I see you. And then I can save this, and then I can play it back. Oh, I see you. Oh, look at that. All right, let's save. I guess that that means recording, and then I can stop save. To stop recording the data. Okay, jump to 131. All right, so let's go back now and see if we can play it back. Yes. Next frame, next frame. Okay, so four of 73 frame. Six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Wow, it records so quickly. There's so many of them, and you just skip 29, 31. Yeah, wow, this is pretty cool. So, there you have it, you guys. This is the Diaglink OBD2 scanner. I think I've pretty much covered everything. So thank you guys for watching. If you are interested in buying it, I will put a link in the description box. Subscribe and like, comment if you have any questions, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.